Welcome back guys. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 6.1 midpoints and perpendicular bisectors. 6.1 represents chapter 6, section 1 of the Pearson A-Level Maths, Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. Consider the following coordinate grid. So we've got the y-axis and we've got the x-axis. Suppose we have the line segment A to B. A has coordinates x1, y1, B has coordinates x2, y2. The midpoint of the line segment A to B is given by open bracket x1 plus x2 all over 2, comma y1 plus y2 all over 2. The gradient of the line segment A to B is given by y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. In other words, changing y over changing x. Now I'm going to define the perpendicular bisector of the line segment A to B. Let's have a look at the definition. The perpendicular bisector of the line segment A to B satisfies the following two conditions. Number one, passes through the midpoint of the line segment A to B. And number two, meets the line segment A to B at 90 degrees. Okay, so that there was the definition of a perpendicular bisector to the line segment A to B. So on my coordinate grid, I've got the line segment A to B. I am now going to label the perpendicular bisector to the line segment A to B. We know that the perpendicular bisector passes through the midpoint. So here is my midpoint. And we also know that the perpendicular bisector meets the line segment A to B at 90 degrees. So this is what my perpendicular bisector looks like. Something like this. I can call this line L. Okay. Now, if you look at the line segment A to B, it has a positive gradient. We can call this gradient M. Since the line L is perpendicular to the line segment A to B, the gradient of L has to be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the line segment A to B. So the negative reciprocal of M. That would just be minus 1 over M. So now we're going to use all of these key facts to answer an exam style question. Here is an exam style question. The line JK is the diameter of the circle center P where J and K are coordinates 0, minus 3 and 4, minus 5 respectively. The line L passes through P and is perpendicular to JK. Find the equation of L, write your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equal to 0 where A, B and C are integers. Now, whenever you get questions about circles, it is very important that you draw a diagram to see what's going on visually, and then you proceed with your solutions. So here is my diagram for this particular exam style question. Okay, there you have it. We've got a circle, center at P. J is a coordinate on the circle, zero minus three. K is a coordinate on the circle, four minus five. L is the perpendicular bisector of the line JK. We want to find the equation of L. Okay, firstly, we notice that by definition, the line L will pass through the midpoint. We're using the definition of a perpendicular bisector. So step number one, I'm going to find the midpoint of the line JK. That's my first step. Midpoint of the line JK. 
So I take my x coordinates, add them together, divide by 2. So 0 plus 4, divide by 2. Take my y coordinates, add them together, divide by 2. So minus 3 plus minus 5, divide by 2. So that will be 4 divided by 2, which is 2. And that would be minus 8 divided by 2, which is minus 4. So the line L passes through the midpoint, which is this coordinate over here. Okay? I'm going to call this coordinate x1, y1. Step number two, we're going to find the gradient of the line jk. Once we get that gradient, the gradient of L will be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the line jk. So gradient of the line jk is given by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So using that formula, we have minus 5 minus minus 3 over 4 minus 0. Okay, so the numerator becomes minus 2 and the denominator becomes 4. If I simplify this, I get minus a half. Okay, so that is the gradient of the line JK. The gradient of the line L will be the negative reciprocal of minus 1 over 2, hence it will be 2. Okay, so let's write this down. We have that in step number 3, M, the gradient of the line L is the negative reciprocal of minus 1 over 2, which is just 2. And we know that the line L passes through the midpoint of the line J to K. And that midpoint was calculated over here. So now I'm going to proceed forward and work out the equation of L. To find the equation of L, we use the formula y minus y1 equal m in bracket x minus x1. So I'm going to plug my values in now. I've got y minus minus 4 equal m, which is 2, in brackets x minus my x1, which is 2. Okay, so I'm going to expand this. This gives me 2x minus 4. I need to write it in the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0, where a, b and c are integers. So now I'm going to take everything to the left hand side. So I've got minus 2x plus y plus 8 equal to 0. So that there is my final answer. This here is the equation of the line L. Now an equivalent answer would just be 2x minus y minus 8 equal to 0. If you were to take everything to the right hand side, or in other words, if you were to divide this whole equation by negative 1. Okay, so this answer is correct. This answer is also correct. They're both equivalent answers. And that there, ladies and gents, completes this exam style question and this teaching video. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post teaching videos.